Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hello, goodbye. Another jam-packed update just dropped. I'm getting a little vibe here that we're counting down to a release anytime soon. Or maybe that's just me. I mean, a couple more like this and we'll see where it leads. Let's dive into it right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7. You can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. So this update continues the trend of delivering in every way and every angle possible, and it's also very focused on fixes. But if we start with maps, this time they simply refer to all maps and not individual ones. Yo-Yo posted a video showcasing a wall climb that allowed you to see mid from B. I tried to replicate it, but couldn't, so it looks like Valve patched that. Jojo also shared another video with a neat but unintended lamp boost, and that's been tweaked in this update as well. Honestly, it's like Valve has a gold mine of bugs to fix thanks to this guy. We see, again, various fixes for Molotovs and incendiary grenade, and I feel like I always go back to this one spot on Inferno to test them. But we already saw this with the last update, and this is unchanged, so they must have found more stuff to fix. I mean, that's great. Speaking of mollies, being in the fire has been rather hard to notice from time to time, and with this update they finally fixed the damage indicators. Before, not all of them were visible, but now you can see more of these red things which makes it clear when we're burning up. Smoke grenades also received various bug fixes this update, although not sure what they fixed, but I've noticed a post by Sentry Nate which is showing the op barrel disappearing with the smoke behind. I thought this might have been the video settings, so I tested it with the highest settings on, on a completely different map, placed a bot with an op barrel sticking out, threw the smoke behind, and as you can see, I can replicate it. I know you're watching Valve, so hopefully this is an easy fix. They've also updated sniper contrails in first person view. Now the visual smoky trail your bullet leaves will change based on your shot's accuracy. This means that if you are accurate while shooting, the trail goes all the way. But if you're not, the trail ends up short. This will not impact the actual bullets, you can still hit your enemies, but it offers real-time visual feedback, which is a very nice upgrade. This next one is huge, as they have made various adjustments to lag compensation, which is a huge talking point right now where people are getting shot behind walls. I've never had an issue with this, but I've always had good ping. So it would be interesting to hear from you guys who have experienced issues and let us know if you feel feel any difference. But speaking of other network related stuff, they also removed all the interpolation commands and seal update rate because they quote unquote never had an effect in CS2. This is an interesting statement because it sounds so contradicting to when they said that they had adjusted the interpolation parameters a couple updates ago. The way I see it, there are a few possibilities to explain this. One, they initially thought the commands worked in CS2, adjusted them, then realized they didn't and removed them. Two, they tried to make the commands functional in CS2 but ultimately gave up. And three, someone then speak to someone over at Valve. But whatever the case may be, they are saying nope to adjusting them altogether. I mean, they might have just removed the commands to clean up the code, make way for new features, or prevent people from using settings that ultimately make the game worse for them. It's probably that last one. They also replaced elevation indicators on the radar with look directions now. So instead of knowing if a player is above or below you, you'll now see which way they're facing instead. I feel like the positives outweigh the negatives. Now let's get to the juicy sounds update. Gunfire, footsteps, and reload sounds are less affected by CS2's famous occlusion and distance. Stereo spread is also slightly widened, which would tackle the issue we saw by Zodum. This is before the update. And this is after the update. I'll let you guys decide if it's any better. And bugs related to incorrect footstep sounds and music stopping at the end of deathmatch have been fixed. Another update is how they changed the armor number in the buy menu to display the amount you can buy instead of the amount you currently have. This way you can immediately see how much additional armor you can buy. We also see in this update various fixes for weapon finishes, gloves, and stickers. They did mention gloves, so are the knocks better now? Hmm, no. Now I might be tripping, but the marble fade looks 
better now, I think. I don't remember the red glow or any glow like this at least. Some skins experts can let me know down below. Speaking of skins, you can place name tags onto your knives now. And it looks horrible, so let's just stop there. We also see some water performance improvements. This is connected to all the people talking about disabling the cheat protected command RCSGO water effects to improve performance. And hopefully this will work a lot better now for everyone. Lastly, adjusting individual player voice volumes is now possible. Various HUD bug fixes and tweaks have entered the building. And with Steam's 20th anniversary, we got some new CS2 animated avatars. So Valve made sure to push out an update to allow us to disable them in game. Oh, and texture filtering is back in the video settings. Let me know what you guys think of this update. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.